I made record labels so much money off my body. I made a lot of people so much money off my body and I got the smallest cut off my own body and my own work and my own ideas. And I don't think I have to say sorry about the fact that I want to commodify my own. It's been commodified and I wasn't even the main benefactor of it. So fuck this. I'm like control. I want control over this. And I enjoy it. Enjoy it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. I'm doing it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna post pictures like that anyway yeah. because I like it and I think they're beautiful and uh. I like my breasts. Mm-hmm. Fuck, sorry. And yeah, they're fake and they look fucking good and I like <laughs> yes. them. And I'm I happy with them and I like my body. I like my body. I liked my body before. I liked my face before and I like it now. It's and, and I like myself. I never didn't. I never hated myself. Okay. So I made record labels so much. What we have here, Eric, is two women sitting and justifying not only plastic surgery. There, there's a lot of levels here to this, obviously, about uh, self-delusion here, and I'm no psychiatrist. But I think, Eric, if for those of us who have lived through 2016 till now, if you didn't lose your mind because of Trump or from other things, and some of the things are meant to lose your mind, like you always point out, some of the things in these media are meant to make you lose your mind. But if you kind of held it together, it doesn't take much when you see stuff like this to be like, she got plastic surgery, but she also wants us like in her face, but she also wants us to believe that she was happy with her face before. So that's yeah. one point of, of self delusion there, which is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, and then the other part is, um, it's okay to sell my body because one, because other people used to do it on my behalf. So, I mean, nobody forced you to do this. Iggy Nobody forced you to, uh, I don't, I've never, I don't know if I've ever even seen one of her music videos, maybe her first one or something when I was a fancy, kid. right. The, the one where it and looks like, like Lewis. Are they saying that they put a gun to your head and then you had to dress skankily or something? I don't know. So it didn't have to happen. <laughs> number one. And then number two, you're saying that just because it happened before, then it's okay to do it now. That would be like saying a person gets trafficked into prostitution or something and then say, I might as well be a prostitute again because it happened to me before. Something bad happened to me. She's admitting that it was bad. She's admitting that she, that it was done to her without her consent. But now that she's doing it on her own, that makes it okay. So like that just doesn't fundamentally make sense. Uh, you crashed your car into me. That was bad. It was an accident. But because you crashed your car into me on purpose this time, that makes it okay. So that fundamentally doesn't make sense. And then the last part, of course, is the obvious part of being like, oh, it's great that I do this because it's empowering. Like, that makes no sense. People would respect you more if you just said, I didn't really care. But when you start to make these obvious, like, bad excuses about this, about why you want to literally be, like, a porn star or a stripper, like, that's that's what this is. I won't say you're a prostitute. Well, it, it depends on your definition. I don't know the exact definition, but when the, you're making these excuses and it's so painfully obvious to the onlookers such as us and everybody else that's why this tweet exists of her like being criticized like this what do you think well this uh, of course reminds me of a couple memes right it's like her it's like the crying wojack with the happy face mask on top of it yes like that's literally what this is it's like she's so she's clearly been you know i I don't want to say beaten but she's been like broken broken and degraded yeah, on, on the inside that she's but but she puts this, I mean, almost a literal mask, right? She's gotten this this plastic surgery through the roof. She looks unrecognizable from the video that I know her from, which is called Fancy. And I'll admit, the song wasn't that bad. The song wasn't <laughs> that bad. Okay. Well, you hear her real voice now. Like this is like people don't have accents when they sing, like when they're British or Australian, when they sing for the most part. Like uh you could think of um Kylie Minogue was, I'm thinking of trying to think of Australian people. Kylie Minogue was one singer and, but you don't develop a new accent is what I'm saying. Like when, like when I sing, I don't sound British, you know? Well, I don't know. You could talk about a guy like Shaggy or I I don't know. These, they put on this Patois, this Jamaican thing. So look, whatever with that. So there's the, there's the Wojak meme of her with the, you know, the crying face with the, the happy face on top of it. And then there's the other one that um, that I just saw the other day. I wish I would have screenshot. I wish I would have saved it. But it's um, a show I've never watched. Actually, I thought it was incredibly boring. I don't know why it was so popular. But uh, Don Draper, I believe his name is from Mad Men. He's doing the he's doing, the, you know, Stanbeck's like we'll call it women's empowerment. 
where ladies sell their bodies, sell photos of themselves for the price of a cheeseburger. And we'll call it women's empowerment. That's what this reminds me of. So we're selling it to you as though this is good, but it's you on the internet selling your body, selling photos of your body for the price of a cheeseburger, right? I mean, because cheeseburgers are expensive. I don't know if you've been to Five Guys recently. No pun intended. <laughs> you think we got right? Five Guys up here, Eric? What are you, crazy? You guys don't, you don't have Five Guys? There's a couple I mean, of them. I've never been one, though. Oh, there it's good, but it is expensive, bro. So no, we don't I mean, have Sonic or Checkers. I don't. I've never been to either one of those, so I don't know anything about those. Um, but I do know that Five Guys does taste good. But it's, I mean, you go into Five Guys, you're like a uh, cheeseburger, fries, chocolate shake, and they're like uh thirty three fifty. And you're like, dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, that's how I. I don't know. I know we're on a tangent here, but <laughs> if you want to get a fast food meal here for two people now, you're spending thirty bucks. It's crazy. You might as well just sit down at a real restaurant. Um, and the last thing here, bro, I, I I don't know how to put this nicely, but who the hell is paying for this, bro? Who is paying for this? Like, really? You to to get a a photo of Iggy Azalea's tits? You're gonna pay, like what, dog? <laughs> You guys, you have to reprioritize if you are spending money. <laughs> like, who, who is this for? Who is Iggy Azalea's actual fan base? Is it young women? Is it young men? Who's actually paying for this? How is she? How is this profitable for her? Honest question. It has to be, like, I don't know how this is profitable for her, but for her fan base, I would have to think that it's, like, like uh, trashy white girls who, like, catch me outside girl, basically. Girls that aren't black that you know, really want to be in the worst. Cash me outside, like they, girl. Is that, am I, maybe I'm mistaken on this and you could fact check me, but isn't that the girl who notoriously made an OnlyFans the day she turned 18 and then said that the people who subscribed on the first day should have been arrested, basically? Yeah, that's or is right. That somebody Wouldn't you, isn't that a more respectable opinion <laughs> than his alias? But, but was that her? Bad yes. baby. Ba okay, that so so she's literally done the same thing. Now look, I don't think I wouldn't for a split second say that Cash Me Outside girl. Look, maybe they have a crossover demo, but she's doing this too. So I highly doubt she's paying a subscription to Iggy Azalea's OnlyFans. All I was saying is that these are the type of girls that would listen to her music. I don't I don't know the OnlyFans audience. Did you watch that Danny Mullen video where he goes and visits? Somebody who operates girls only fans and answers their questions for them. No, I did not see. I so did he watch goes to, his from today, but I didn't see the one you're I talking didn't yet. about. But he goes to some guy's house and the guy's job, which he now has a team for. He has a team of guys who now answer girls only fans DMs. So it's like these these creepy guys who sign up for only fans or sad, I'll say um, that it's a guy answering the messages then yeah it's, can, can it's, i just say look you can I, i'm incredibly old in this sense like i do not understand the only fans i do not even like even the online dating scene it just seems toxic and poisonous it doesn't seem beneficial to anybody but that's just me showing my age bro like i can't do it like i don't <laughs> understand only fans i don't understand this I don't know. Do people don't use Tinder anymore? I assume it's all just bots and transformers, like, know. like, like literal, you know, spam bots. And the girl's side trannies. is just all tranny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what's wait that? a minute? I, so I'm just like, I'm just feeling incredibly old. Like, who? I know. I realize there's a market for everything. But who in their right mind is paying for this stuff? Who in their right mind is swiping through Tinder in 2023? You know it's all fake. I don't know, man. This escalated here. So that uh, tweet that we had the video from is quoted by, this is just a random account, but it goes somewhere. She literally gave her opinion, it says, and it's as, as real as it gets. And this B word, want to tear her down to crying emojis, goofy energy. So that was in response to the person who posted it. And then she responds with, yes, I want to tear down hooers promoting selling their bodies online to creepy old men. And that's fine. And I think I noticed Iggy Azalea responds down here with a link to her only fans, which is very sad. And we already discussed why it's sad. Um, and Iggy Azalea responds to it and say, hey, there she is. 
LMAO. Like you can read, you can read the like you said the mask in this text. Stop calling your husband a creepy old man, babe. He's super sweet to me. Ew. And the thing, yeah, like that, you can see the pain in the text, like the fake laugh, like because it's not this funny. Like an LOL would have been appropriate. Like, and then he said this. So that's the funny thing is that I know that I know Josiah and he's a young guy and he's very conservative Christian. So her even attempt at like a bad dig here is just so far off from the truth, but I don't think she's going to respond to this one. Um, this is also though, this is, this is the demise, right? This is <laughs> if whatever, um, Isabella Riley and her husband both are conservative. Fine, whatever. You're playing in their mud. You're you're in their field. You're all you're 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 arguing on Twitter with a completely an a literally fake woman, right? Like her <laughs> she and she admits that, like, oh, I liked myself before, but I went under the knife and paid thousands of dollars to change it right. because I liked it so much. And and look, and this is part of the reason, admittedly, I I'm not on Twitter. I don't care for Twitter. Because it's just a cesspool of nonsense. 